Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to do a Let's Play for Outward in 3D in VR using Helix Vision. If you don't know, Helix Vision is a VR tool that lets you play 3D fix games in VR. In this case, I'm using the Unity Universal 3D Fix to play outward in 3D in VR. Now there is an issue with this uh, game. Uh, I actually have the Epic Game Store version of Outward and you can only play the game online. That does cause a problem with uh, the game, starting the game. But I was able to get around the problem. I don't want to discuss it too much because it would be outside of what I want to talk about. But you can read in the Steam community community forums. Uh, I created a topic about uh, Outward. And you can read how to get around that issue. But other than that, the game looks beautiful and stunning in 3D, in VR. And let's just go ahead and make a random character here really quickly. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's call this guy uh, Prince because he's got purple rain hairstyle. So let's just go with that and create. Uh, also, the other issue, pretty minor because I think anybody, anybody would play this with a gamepad. But if you're using a mouse and keyboard, you do lose the cursor. So you'd have trouble selecting items from the menu. However, I don't recommend using keyboard and mouse. I recommend just using a controller. And with the controller, you have absolutely no issues with any of the menus or any of the gameplay. So actually running the game, there, there are no issues. So in case you don't know, you had a shipwreck. And uh, with the video recording software, I'm getting about 45, 50 frames per second. So it's not running as smoothly as it was without the video recording software, but it's definitely not running all that bad. Uh, earlier, I tried recording with... Uh, OBS and Oculus just basically recording the Oculus mirror of the game and the game was basically unplayable so this at least is playable but it's definitely not running as smoothly as it was earlier when I wasn't video recording so definitely want to gather seaweed <laughs> I know it sounds crazy but you do and uh, probably the earlier early tip is just to look for items. Um, there's one over here that's pretty good. And you can drink water while you're over here. I don't want to make this a long intro. So uh, yeah, you gotta. In fact, you can just uh, equip. There you go. And if you want to... So we don't want to go there just right now. Uh, this is where we need to go, over here. But before we do that, we want to get some items. I don't really think it's all that important to get these berries right now, but might as well. You know, we're just starting off the game. Why not? There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, but the game looks beautiful in 3D. The 3D models actually look really good. The game world looks beautiful, which is surprising because I played this game in 2D. I didn't play it very long in 2D. I want to estimate maybe I played 
I don't know, two hours maybe. And I didn't think it looked pretty at all. And I found the game very challenging. This is a difficult game, especially if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I missed so many items. So a lot of this game is just knowing where to look for stuff. And I'm not very good at that. And knowing where to go. Uh, so at first blush, it might seem very difficult. But once you get an idea of what you're supposed to be doing, it's actually man manageable. But obviously, if, if you're not reading guides online, then you really have to figure stuff on your own. Then, yeah, it's pretty difficult. Uh, especially since you're not... We're not really used to that type of gameplay anymore where the game kind of makes forces you to figure stuff out on your own without any help. So here we can go to the other side. And I believe there's something on this side as well. So it's raining right now, so we're getting some like water uh, effect. Here the most important part is just remember the basic controls, which So you, you don't want to aggro both of them. That's the most important thing right now. If you aggro both of them, it's really difficult to kill them. Especially since you're so weak. So you really want to focus in on just, just getting one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Keep in mind, if things don't work out, you can run away. You don't have to fight. Live to see another day. Especially since we're so close to the starting area. So you just want to be cautious. Most important thing is not to take any damage. So you don't want to be too aggressive. As long as you're patient, you can do this without taking any damage. Boom. So you see uh, <laughs> uh, that didn't go like I planned, but it still worked out. Um, I got one hyena down, so now there's only one left. <laughs> and look at him, he's stuck. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's what I want. Uh-oh, watch out. I'm not sure why she's not dodging like when I want. That's weird. I don't know if it's uh no it's not a stamina issue. No 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 Woo There we go. So yeah, I mean just just be careful. And by no means am I an expert on this game at all. I'm, I'm just struggling to get past the, the first start of this area. I'm, I'm, I'm restarting each time because I really don't want to start like handcuffed, uh, starting off bad.
and your stamina does get back. Uh, do y'all see that body there? <laughs> Gnarly. And I believe there's like a treasure right here. So you want to look. Got to know where to look. And there we go. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. Now we're kind of a little too slow. We got too much junk. We're, uh, we're just unencumbered. Uh, and f can we just eat one of these and... Are we good if, uh, it might be the, w so we're going to get rid of our makeshift torch. What's really weighing me down? Like I'm really too heavy. It's just, it's just something that I picked, just picked up. It might just, is it the, is it the wood? <sighs> okay, drop the wood. I'm still too heavy. The mining pick is very heavy, but I don't want to get rid of that. Okay, so now where, where are we? Yeah, we're still too... Uh, I'm not seeing where we're encumbered. Uh, tough decision here, tough decision. Raw meat, maybe get rid of the improvised bedroll. Let's, uh, no, we don't want to do that. Predator bones, let's... Jeez. No, we can't. We can't. We can't walk back. <laughs> we gotta get rid of some stuff. Ah, oh, this is so difficult. We don't want to get rid of our harpoon. Let's, let's get rid of the raw meat. Okay. And let's get rid of what else? <laughs> We're not anywhere close to a drop, drop, okay. Wow, we're still not anywhere close. Is there like a place where I can put this down? Yeah, we're gonna have to put this, we're gonna have to put down the bedroll. We just can't afford to carry it. Okay, I think we're good now. We're still we're still encumbered, but at least we can walk. So you know you can see we're we're walking slowly, but we're not like before where we're just barely moving. I think we're good. We can make it back to base. We're not under attack. Ah, this game looks absolutely gorgeous in 3D in VR. Just the environments look great. The 3D models look good. Uh, I think Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice proved that uh, third-person player games can look great in VR. And Atward looks good in VR. Uh, even though it's not made for VR, 
Um, it honestly looks great. It's one of the better looking uh, games I've played on Hel Helix Vision. It's not the best. Uh, I still would put uh, recent ones like the Outer Worlds. I would put not the Outer Worlds, the Outer Wilds. I'm sorry, the Outer Wild, or just the Outer Wild. I guess not not the, but just Outer Wild. And I would put Wreckfest above this as well. But it would definitely be like in my top 10 list. It runs smoothly against the video recording software. It's the only reason why it doesn't look better right now. Um, I don't know if I should get this spread or not. I guess there's no reason not to take it. It's, it's not going to really slow me down too much. And talk to this person. Fight, figure out what's going on. I don't know if we really need to rest all that much. Um, I'm not sure really what difference it makes. Uh, I think you get like more hungry. Five, I guess five hours, not six, seven. Let's, you know what? Let's just, let's just go for eight hours of sleep. Why not? <laughs> it doesn't matter. One of the few times we can rest without needing like extra guards or anything, not worry about our stuff being taken. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, you gotta eat, you gotta drink water, and you gotta watch your supplies, you got limited inventory. So this is a tough game. Um, I'm still trying to get you, trying to get past the starting point. Just, you know, I keep restarting just cause it's like, ah, I'm, I'm not doing too well. Let me restart and see how I can do better next time. So I'm, I'm like still there. Um, yeah, I think we're too encumbered right now. So we're going we're gonna to have to drop something. So 2, 2, 1, 1, 3. So it's, is it 2, 2, 3? Okay. So we can definitely unequip this stuff. Put on the good stuff. What do I it doesn't matter here. It's where they want simple shoes or worker shoes. They're like the same. But I definitely need to drop this and drop. Okay. And now we can go again. We're walking slowly, but it doesn't matter. We have a location nearby where we can. Uh, store some stuff that's what we're gonna do equip so here's our little open stash so now we can put some stuff away uh what do we want to put away I don't know if we want the machete. Definitely want to put our money away. None of our perishables we want to put away. And I'm gonna figure out what to do with some of this stuff. Let me see. Um,
Hmm, we're still encumbered. <laughs> so we still got to figure out how to uh, how to deal with some of this stuff we got too much of. Jerky, jerky, yes. And we just absolutely need some of this stuff. I don't think you can... I don't know that you can climb. I think it's so weird that you cannot just climb. There must be a way to do I don't know if there is a way to do it or not. So, there's lots of stuff here to take. But I'm not sure that I can afford to take a lot of this stuff. And uh, definitely don't think I can take the iron scrap. Well, I mean, I could take it just to put it in storage. I think that's everything I can take. But again, I gotta store a lot of this stuff. And I'm over encumbered as is already. But as long as I can get to the merchant, it'll be fine because I'm gonna try to sell a lot of this stuff. And sorry, this gameplay is not very exciting right now. It's just so difficult. This game is difficult. Uh, move to bag. Okay. Move to bag. So this is stuff that you can use in your pocket. And definitely want to keep the mach machete. I don't know that if we need the flint and steel. I don't know that we need the the seaweed. I don't know that we need move to bag. Move to bag. I think we're fine with just a bread and water in our pocket along with machete. And definitely want to learn how to use this reed. And we definitely want to move this to pocket, right? And I think once we get an upgraded bag, we'll be able to put it in that bag. So, uh, is there... Oh, actually, we might want to transfer some items over to our bag. Uh, dark. So, yeah, we got... We got to sell some of this stuff. Uh, dark worker hood. Oh, yeah, we, we need this. Hide, I guess sell it? Take hide, okay. I guess all this stuff now. I don't know that we want to, well, let's go ahead and take our silver. Okay. Alrighty, so now we can actually go up and uh, equip our stuff that we put on the floor. I'm not sure if it's actually worth anything though, so. <sighs> You know what? I don't think it's worth anything. 
So let's just go ahead and uh, store. There we go, okay. In case we ever end up naked, we have some clothes somewhere. Rise and shine, soft spawn. You think you can nip off the four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? The blood price is safe. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. <laughs> I wish I would read the whole lines, though. Just, just. Yeah. You were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home. What? Enough of this. Twelve people are dead to threaten someone like this. But I said that is enough. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. So we have five days to pay 150 silver or earn a tribal favor. Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please find a way to make it work. Have you forgotten why your family bears this blood pride? Listen well. This is unacceptable. That does seem like your most effective option. Never forget. If you can do a great deed for someone in Siet once you're ready to leave Sienzo, remember, you only have a few days. Your ancestors watch over you. So, yeah, I'm going to end the game recording here. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend the 3D Fix uh, Helix Vision. Just keep in mind, if you have the Epic Game Store version, you do need to work around, which I posted about in the Steam uh, forum, community forums. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.